Hello everyone. Welcome to another episode. I am currently dilating, so just so you know, I'm going to be very careful about where I'm keeping the camera. Um, but this is kind of like <clears throat> one of the most convenient times to do things because I don't got anything else to do. I'm just sitting here. But the other interesting thing is that I did just start dilating, so given I've told you guys that it used to take me, what, like, 90 minutes plus to get to depth, you'll, uh, you'll get to see just how much quicker it is with, uh, with this new method that supported it. Spoiler alert. It's great. Um, I'm in tons of pain. A lot less than I was, but still tons of pain. Um, but yeah, everything seems to be going great. Like, like where's the catch great? You know? Like, what's, what's going on? Um, on top of that, I'm having a way, way, way better time here than I did last time. Again, I just, I've... Not not only from my time here, but from, you know, just my time out in life, I've better learned how to, how to recognize people that I don't really want, that, I, that I'm not really going to get along well with, uh, how to recognize those that I'm not going to get along well with, uh, how to recognize those that I will get along well with, and how to... How to be direct with those that I am going to get along well with uh, to make sure that I can actually have a friendship with them before uh, before they vanish, basically. Um, and I don't want to go into too many details right now. <laughs> I need a I need to chat to some people first, but uh, but yeah, there's. There's been some there's been some good vibes going on here. There's been some real good vibes going on between a lot of the people here. Um so other than that uh dilation still does hurt, as you can see. So, you know, if if I if I give a big like I'm actually almost like that. Uh if I give a big push, so you can see you can straight up watch the pain on my face. If you want to see how painful it is for me to go from about four inches now, and I'll I'll try to push forward to about five because I'm not actually meant to hit full depth of six right now. So um, let's try that, shall we? That wasn't so bad. <laughs> That was actually less painful than I thought it would be, um, and less painful than it was yesterday. So, great, you know, it, it's, it's just all around good news. How long did that take? I've got on the recording. That took four minutes. It took four fucking minutes for me to get to depth. And, um... There was this poor girl, there was this poor girl who came here at the, at the same time as me, and and she was having similar troubles, but she didn't, she didn't seem to know how to vocalize it. She, she didn't seem quite sure to have worked out, she, she felt that something was wrong, but she wasn't quite sure how to convey it. And, um, she came here, and she went into, she, she went to support, and he said, you don't need a revision, like, aesthetically everything's fine, and she was beside herself that she'd travelled across the world for no revision, and she went through a terrible period, and then she ended up going back to Sapporn and asking again for a revision, and he gave her a, um, a, a, a posterior commissure, and, you know, that's good and all, but it wasn't until after she talked to me that she even knew the Z-section was was a thing that could be done that could widen out the scar tissue and it's just like we need we need to talk to people man we need to we need to have the actual fucking like 
So you have the, the what's the word? The materials. And you have the information out there. It needs to be available, ready and available. Uh, um I've seen a lot of people go over the last over the last week. It's been kinda of sad. Um, it's gonna get sadder <laughs> because the uh, the ones that are around now are the ones that I've made even tighter links with. Um, here's a really good piece of advice for you. Bring a laptop that can at least run like retro games and bring uh, two, two or more controllers because I'm telling you right now there is nothing more fun on this trip than just finding the other gamers here because there's always gamers here there's always a bunch of nerds in the group Ugh. sorry I can't cover my mouth like I, like I normally would without the dilator shooting across the room um, there's, there's just nothing more fun than than just getting a laptop between you and then all lying down on bed because on, on a bed because none of us want to fucking walk none of us want to walk around come on um, my chin is itchy oh my chin's itchy oh how do I scratch it <laughs> um, it's a lot easier when you're not holding a camera um, yeah got it um, yeah, just getting like two, three, four people into a bed and, and just getting a laptop between you and, and playing some, some Contra or some, some Metal Slug or, or whatever. Um, if you, if, if you want some ideas for games, then drop me a PM. Uh, I'm actually quite tired. Um. And yeah, I'll be I'll be happy to drop you some recommendations of some of some good four player games. Um, I'm not that big on party games, so I'm not the person to ask about that. But if you, if you want some some cool action games, but most people like party games. I don't think most people like the kind of games that I like. So maybe just ask the people who like party games. <laughs> I'm one of those weird people. Um, But yeah, it's it's been a, a dramatically different trip to last time, and and you know I'm looking the clock now. It's it's eight minutes in, um, and I could just stop right now. I'm gonna go a little bit longer to to help out the width. Um, I'm I'm still paranoid. There's still a fair hint of paranoia in me that it'll heal back as tight as it was before or that suddenly when I try to get back to depth I won't be able to um and I don't know you've always got to deal with a bit of paranoia oh here's another cool thing I found out um you can bring anything from breakfast to your room so if you're like ass tired you really can't do a thing either ask one of the other people or um ugh. I would edit those out but no um or get someone to help you with it or just kind of hobble downstairs what you can do is you can ask the front for a tray you know like the kind of trays that they use for uh, for room service and you can just load it up with breakfast and bring it back to your room and then you can either snack away at it over the next couple hours or you can have a nap you can have another hour or two of a nap and uh and then eat it when you feel like it and uh one more thing that i highly recommend uh they always keep some cakes they always keep some cakes at the breakfast table and they usually really <sighs> this is ridiculous um they're usually really good. Um, there's some really, really good tasty cakes there that I really like a lot. And, um, hang on a sec, I'm just gonna... There we go. Um, I really like a lot of the cakes there, and I think they make great lunches. And I think a really good thing to do is to uh, get like four or five of them on a plate, 
and bring them up to your room and then either after after a dilation or before your um before your midday meds or whatever uh just have a couple of those and 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 what I've been trying to do is you know get people over and and share some of those cakes with them and then play games with people and it's just like it it's it's such a night and day experience from my last one now that I am now that I'm yawning literally every five seconds it's only like it's only ten o'clock I don't know why I'm yawning this much um. Probably the dilator forcing all the air out of me. Um, yeah, once once you learn to recognize your people and just stick to those people, it's it's such a different experience. It's kind of crazy. Um, I think that's about it. Oh yeah. Uh, one more thing, um, which is for both people on revision and just people in general. I can't remember if I mentioned this last time, but I think it's a really important detail that I may have forgotten about. Um, there are two kinds of stitches. I've told you this before. There's the stitches that support has to manually remove, and there's the stitches that will uh, dissolve over time. The stitches are like one of the biggest courses uh, biggest sources, excuse me, of pain throughout the entire recovery. Um, they hurt. Like, just, I, I don't mean putting them in there, I mean them just existing. Them being in your skin and preventing it from healing and jabbing you whenever the, a bit of a frayed bit comes off or whatever. Um, the, the, the stitches really suck. Um, so... The, th the stitches slowly coming out is a great way for you to, uh, for you to sort of embody and, um, and put into a kind of a tangible context the fact that you are getting better, the fact that your pain levels are going down and that they are going to continue to go down. You know, each stitch that comes out is, is X percent less pain, is X percent uh, pain for less time, you know, um, and it's, it's just a really good way to keep track of things. Anyway, so that was just a few short things that I wanted to, wanted to update you guys on, um, ah, one more yawn for good measure, and, um, yeah, that's about it, and, again, I, I, I got to depth in, like, four fucking minutes if you're if you're at like 10 months nine months and you're having trouble with uh with that scar ring again it's about two inches inside of the vagina so if there's if there's just a sudden block there that just takes you ages to get around that's what that is uh fuck whatever sophie says and uh highly consider a revision because you know what fucking happy i'm i'm fucking joyous <laughs> this is great this is fantastic i'm doing this twice a day i don't even care doing dilations twice a day when they only take like 20 minutes each i don't care i could do four of these a day fuck it i could do five bring it on like holy shit it's such a short absurdly short amount of time all right Peace out, everyone. Love and respect.